Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch One. Thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at the Maurice Lacroix Masterpiece Lunar Retrograde. You can see this 43mm stainless steel multi-complication on our website, watchyouwant.com. Purchase it there, and if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. You can also click on the card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen at any time to see our full listing for this watch, with additional accessories included, high-resolution images, and naturally complete pricing details. Now, on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference. This watch has impressive stance. It does work as a dress watch. At 43 millimeters across the case, you would think that the proportional odds would be stacked against it, but with an incredibly powerful blue sunburst dial, a very minimalist bezel, and a reasonably compact lug-to-lug -lug span, somehow the fairly substantial Loon Retrograde works as a dress watch. A 21st century dress watch to be sure, but one that is all Maurice Lacroix, and I do mean that, as they manufacture their dial, their cases, and their movements. Now what you're looking at here is a thick case. No two ways about that. 15.5 millimeters. It does, however, feature a nicely sloped bezel, so it will fit under the sleeve of perhaps a sport jacket or a blazer. Dress cuffs, less so. Now from lug to lug, the lugs have a wonderful downward curvature that minimizes their 51 millimeter span, and conventionally a 43, 44 millimeter watch would be considerably broader across the wrist. That's why this watch works proportionally with a broad number of wrists, giving it more viability as a dress watch in spite of its size. Now it's important to note that those lugs are extremely close cropped. When you see them from the side, you can see they actually jut out before the end of the case, and they curve down sharply, so this watch really does sort of curve around the wrist. It has a little bit of effective camber because of the lug shape. Now also very clever from an ergonomic standpoint, again one of the reasons this watch could probably be worn on a wrist as small as 14 centimeters is that the lugs are actually somewhat tucked and there's a little bit of a scallop to the flank of the case such that the strap is actually countersunk into the flank of the case and that means that although you have the clean integrated look of a conforming strap that's pinned against the flank of the case, you don't have the tendency of those conforming straps to want to flare out and fight the curve of your wrist. You can pull this one straight down, getting the best of both worlds, aesthetics and ergonomics in tandem. Now Maurice Lacroix pairs the watch with a very impressive twin trigger deployant buckle. And I say it's very impressive because it's beautifully made first and foremost, constructed by Maurice Lacroix, satin finished on its top, polished on its inside. There isn't a single unfinished surface in here, and it features a clever minder system so that any excess strap effectively gets tucked in underneath the clasp rather than being looped through strap minders, which can be unsightly and age in advance of the rest of the leather. Now, the nice thing about the leather here is that it is of the highest grade. It's also very substantial. You can see how the central spine of the strap is nicely bolstered, giving a little bit of thickness and body that flows naturally into the swell of the lugs. Moreover, there's a gorgeous monotone stitch, and it has a deep and rich navy blue coloration to it, matched on the back by navy blue calfskin for a supple feel against the wrist. Now, the case is surprisingly complex. You can see that that the lug tops, as well as the bezel, are high polished. They're quite brilliant, they gleam direct, they gleam in the light to the point that they simply explode. You'll also notice that the very uppermost hoods of the lugs are satin finished, and likewise, the flanks of the case and the flanks of the lugs are satin finished. So there's a great contrast just on the outside of the case, and that's before we even get to the main event, which is that dial. Now, the dial's spectacular on several levels. First, because the watch is almost all dial. You can see how minimal the bezel truly is. Second, because the dial is actually built on a 925 purity sterling silver base before the blue anodizing or galvanizing, I should say, is applied, before the sunburst pattern is applied, it starts as a silver disc. Now after that, Maurice Lacroix treats it with texture and also with guilloche to cut the sub-registers into it. All of the applied indices and the calibrations, for instance, of the power reserve at two o'clock or the hands of the retrograding date and the day function are diamond polished and they have an incredible gleam and luster in direct light. Now the watch does give you a lot of functionality with the ML192 in-house caliber. You can see it has a retrograding date. It has a power reserve scale. It has a day function. It has a moon phase and of course hours and minutes at center. There's a tremendous amount of information here but thanks to the size of the watch again, this is where the size plays to its advantage. 
all of this information can be conveyed without crowding the dial. And that's a good thing because the basic sunburst blue of this dial is simply scintillating. Now on the case back, you have that Maurice Lacroix 59 joule in-house automatic winding caliber. Now you can see just from the layout of it that what you're looking at is effectively an adaptation of the old Unitas 6497. It has the same 18,000 vibration per hour beat rate. It has the same essential train wheel layout. You can see the barrel, you can see the drivetrain wheels, you can see the ratchet wheel, the crown wheel, all of this in the conventional position, albeit with a winding system. Now it is very much a Maurice Lacroix timepiece because if you think it's easy to make a movement, even when based on an existing caliber, you've clearly never attempted it yourself. Watchmakers have tremendous respect for these calibers because they're rugged, they are actually adjusted in five positions, and quite frankly, they're set it and forget it reliable. So not only do you have the classic chug chug of an 18,000 vibration per hour balance, but but you also have all of the inherent durability of the underlying pocket watch caliber, as well as a brilliant brushed finish on both the rotor and the bridges. The polished screws, the unique finishing, which Maurice Lacroix likes to call Grand Colomasson is quite attractive and a beautiful counterpoint to that spectacular sunburst dial. You can see both of them and the 5ATM water resistance when you check this watch out on our website watchyouwant.com.